I got a good question from Ask Echo Ed about what we can do to reduce our carbon footprint. There's two general areas that we can focus on. One is transportation, how we get from point A to point B, and two is home energy use. In the transportation realm, uh, there's nothing more cost effective than public transportation. Uh, and that's what I uh, do long before I ever consider riding around my electric car. Uh, and the other is uh, bicycle. Now again, bike riding when weather and fitness permit, public transportation if it's available near you, but if you have public transportation near you, that's an incredible contribution you can make to the environment, a very positive one, uh, by taking public transportation and a bike. Of course, there's no other uh, efficient vehicle that does the job as well as a bicycle. By that I mean, uh, you know, the fuel for a bicycle, if you will, to go 30 miles is a ear of corn and a bowl of rice. And that's, uh, you know, the fuel stock that you're using to get that distance. You would need a bushel full of uh, corn to go 30 miles in an ethanol vehicle. That's how much you'd need to make that amount of fuel to go 30 miles. So uh, it's very efficient in every way. Bike riding and public transportation are very good uh, to reduce your carbon footprint. Home energy use, a great way to go, is doing the cheap and easy stuff first. And the first one you can focus on is one of these, a uh, light. That's a very energy efficient light we're using right here and you put energy efficient lights up around your house and you will have great savings and you'll be, be doing a good thing for the environment. Other home energy use tips are weather stripping around your doors and windows and uh, an energy efficient thermostat. Those are good ways you can reduce your carbon footprint, help the environment and of course save money.